what from your perspective down that final stretch? Ran out of gas. I mean, we spent so much energy trying to come back and got it kind of going our way. And then, um, you know, they, they did start kind of matching up. And it's really hard to tell what they're in because they change defenses so much. Uh, we got a little stagnant a little bit. And, you know, we obviously missed some key piece, people uh, down the stretch that are used to finishing games. We had some kids in there that aren't used to finishing games as part of that. But, um, yeah, that – you know, it was a tough start because we were all crying to start the tip-off. I don't know if y'all could see the t- visible tears on our players at, at tip-off, but that was all worth it uh, to be able to celebrate Mac like that and for her parents to be able to do that. It was so cool, such a cool moment. Um, but, yeah, the four minutes will stand out because we went scoreless and they kind of pulled away after we got it close. But there was a lot of other opportunities throughout the game I thought we kind of squandered a little bit. Yeah, about Mac, I mean, it was just a really chippy game all throughout, I mean, how do you – I think y'all are, were already, like, in some foul trouble and then you're getting yeah. technicals piling up. How do you try and, you know, navigate your team through that? You don't. I mean, you just try to, you just try to hold on together. You know, you get everybody together, and, and we did. I thought we did for the most part. We navigated it. Uh, but it took so much energy out of us. There was so much emotion. It's, you know, there was obviously a, a heightened sense uh, for the game because uh, we all read – you know, ESPN.com and look at bracketology and all that. And even though they've got the same team in it twice still to this day, yeah, it's been up for almost 48 hours. But we still look at it, and, you know, it still makes it a big, important game. But um, it was going to be heightened. Our games with them are always heightened. I mean, it's a physical game. Um, They make you play that way. Um, And I'm not going to do anything to detract from Max Day. Uh, It was. It's a shame that it it happened the way it did, but her day will never – that light won't stop shining for me just because she didn't get to be out there at the end. Yeah. And last thing, also real quick, I think whenever she got that second technical that ejected her, you walked with her pretty far into the tunnel, just just reminding her that – Nothing's going to change. No wins, no losses. We're in the postseason five straight years. It's only been done since Coach Blair's time. Her legacy cemented. No, nothing about this game, nothing about the, less, the, the rest of this season changes her legacy. Don't let this – I thought about staying back there with her. I really did. I was really worried that if I went back out, I'd end up joining her and cost us two free throws. Um, and I was trying to channel my inner strolling with Nolan or something. I don't know when Zimmerman had to lead him off. But I, I just did not want her going back there with anybody but me. Um, thanks for Dorita to come back there and relieve me. But I was pretty close to not coming back out because I didn't want Mac to have to go. Th- but then Mac said to me, she goes, I'm good. I need the time. So we went back out. But um, it's – you know, I will remember so much about Mac. That will be so far down the damn list of things I'll remember about her. Uh, we'll have to – somebody will have to remind me about it. Uh, you mentioned the bracketology earlier. I mean, it's – I mean, you all are four days away from playing, I guess, the number We're one what? Team. Four days away from playing the number one team in the country. Just yeah. Opportunity, well, man. Where, where does that put you all as a program, I guess, right now? Um, I mean, I, we're in the postseason. I know that for a fact. Um, it'll be our – fifth straight year to do that, whether we beat South Carolina or not or whether we end up in the NIT or the NCAA tournament. I'll keep focusing on that and us just continuing to play the best that we can regardless of who shows up. Obviously, South Carolina is undefeated. They're, I mean, they're not unchallenged, but they're certainly undefeated. Uh, we'll regroup, and we'll give them a fair shot on Thursday. And you mentioned some of the offensive challenges you guys had tonight or today. Uh, I guess, can you just talk about, do you feel that was some of what Vanderbilt was doing defensively, or was it just you, you guys not getting into a rhythm? Or it's whatever? always a combination of both, but I think if you look at the first seven threes we took, they were all good shots. They were probably too many in a row, so we started driving it. We got that number fixed. Um, but we're going to have to be there. If teams choose to stand around the basket and pack the lane, you've got to make a few threes to, to open it up. And then for us to be able to get to the foul line, uh, they do such a good – I mean, they've got a great defensive team. Jordan Cambridge is one of the best defensive players in the country, uh, as is Mac, who did a really good job on her while she was in there. But um, they're hard to score against always, but then when your shot doesn't fall early, um, you know, you, you tend to press a little bit and you tend to get a little bit anxious when you catch it. Uh, I thought we didn't pass it great. 14 turnovers is really not many to have against Vanderbilt, but they were timely. Like we, they, they weren't necessarily turnovers. We'd have somebody open, we'd throw it at their feet. Uh, we'd have a double team come, and we'd have somebody wide open, and it, the, the pass might get tipped or something. So um, I think it was a combination of them and us. But you got to give them credit. They've been a good defensive team ever since Coach Ralph's got there.
Uh, how many times has Sailor beaten you in horse on that shot? And uh, also, what was her injury and how did she come back? Uh, she, I think she, I don't know. I haven't talked to anybody, but I'm guessing she banged her knee because she fell right on top of it. Uh, and usually if it's a twist or something, they won't. But uh, Sailor makes a bunch of half-court shots. I think Carly Johnson's leading uh, our team in pregame uh, half-court shots. But, um, yeah, Sailor makes her fair share. And that was from past half-court too, wasn't it? Like it, it seemed like it was about 70 feet. How far did they say? Did anybody say? On the other end? So that's 20 feet, 30. That's, yeah. It's a long way. I don't have the strength to get it there from there, Grant. I, I, there's, if she wants to shoot those out there, she's going to beat me every time if she can make one. Just um, a game I really wanted to win. Um, I guess how tough is it not only just kind of that y'all lost, but kind of the way that it, it went where y'all had trouble scoring? Um. Yeah. Honestly, I don't think it was anything that Vanderbilt did. I think it was just us. Um, we kind of were out of rhythm because we weren't making shots. And then with all the fouls that were being called and a lot of the stoppages, we really couldn't get into, like, a flow. And by the time we were able to get into a flow, we were already down by a lot. So we kind of had to claw our way out of um, a hole that we had already built. Um, so, honestly, I just feel like with all, like, the stoppages and the fouls and stuff, it kind of was hard for us to get into a rhythm. Um. And for either of you, I mean, it was just a pretty chippy game. Um, how how do y'all try, like, you know, whenever you got all that going on kind of in the background to just stay focused on the, the task at hand to go try and win a game? <laughs> uh, for me personally, I can't tune it out. Uh, um, it kind of fuels me. Um, and there's always, like, a lot of, like, you know, good competitive talk or whatever but you know today it, it wasn't really so much so competitive it was just like I wouldn't say degrading but it was like like what's the need for it and then when you have the refs like you go tell the refs and they're like okay we'll stop it and it's still going on it's kind of like you feel like you have to take things into your own hands so honestly um for me personally, I, I, I don't, my temper doesn't allow me to tune those types of things out. For me, I think I'm a calm player. And <laughs> I don't think the noise or anything or anybody else affects me in my game, so I just continue to compete with all I know. <laughs> then, uh, last thing I'll ask is um, Mac. Of course, I mean, it was a celebrated her today. Just if you could both take a little bit of time to talk about what she's meant to you, you two. You go, because I might talk for days. Just talk about Mac. Um, I think Mac was, is a good player, and she shows great leadership to us and kind of just shows us the ropes and just be there for us and acknowledge us, support us. She's a great teammate. Yeah, um, she's my best friend, so I could go on and on about her. But um, let's just say next year definitely won't be the same without her. Just clarify one thing. Sam, you said the refs told y'all that they were going to get a handle on it at mm -hmm. some point? Yeah. And it I mean, you know how refs are. They'd be like, okay, we'll, we'll tell them about it or we'll look into it or we'll, you know, but it, don't it, do nothing. yeah, they didn't really do anything. Some, most of the time, like, it'll get under control, but, like, they kept letting it happen. So whenever they would go talk to the opposing players, it was like, whatever. And they would still continue doing it. So. Yeah. So obviously it's two tough losses in a row for you guys, and obviously the number one team in the country coming in here on Thursday. Uh, I guess can you just talk about you know putting the, those games behind you and preparing for a game like that, and how you guys kind of approach something like that? Um, honestly, we're, we'll just play the best of our abilities, um, play our game. Um, they are the number one team in the country for a reason, so obviously it'll be a tough battle. But um, hopefully with the crowd behind us and it being. Uh, somewhat of a later game, um, we'll have the advantage. Okay. Two for ten.